What's up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game and Reverse DL channel. So today I have my second SC2 Vita. Now we're going to mount it as UXO. I have a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. So we begin. So you guys can see it. It's pretty cool. This is my 32 gig micro SD card. So we begin with putting it inside the PC. So now our PC has detected the memory card. So we're going to format it so that our PlayStation Vita can read it. So we launch our tool, the disk imager, Win32. You can see my location is in the E drive and I'm going to use my CCC blank image. So I select it and then really simple, we just select right. We're gonna get a message. If you agree to it, click yes. So then it shouldn't take that long. It could take five minutes or less than that. So that's all we need to do. We take out the micro SD and put it back in. And then we're going to select the format function and file system as EXFAT and allocation size, default allocation size. We select start. And then it's just going to tell us going to format the micro SD card. We select OK. So this one can take a little bit longer too. So we just let it be until we get our confirmation. So you guys can see format complete. So we just click OK. We don't need this anymore. It's ready to use. As you guys can see E drive. And we can close this too. So now we move on to the PlayStation Vita. Now with the PlayStation Vita, we're going to go ahead and connect it via USB with Vita Shell. So we launch Vita Shell and we select or click select. Just ignore that message. Okay, so we're ready to go back to the PC. You guys can see that it detected my PlayStation Vita. Now to create the UXO, create a folder on your desktop. We're going to back up all that information from the PlayStation Vita files. So select Control A or copy all of those files and back them up to the PC. Then we click paste. So it should take uh, maybe 30 minutes depending on what size or items you have on your PlayStation Vita memory card. So as you guys can see I cut the video. Remember PlayStation Vita files, back it up to the PC. Once we have our files backed up, that's going to be technically our first step so that we can get the micro SD card ready. If you plan to use the micro SD as UXO, back up your Vita memory card to your computer really important guys the source will lolo.net so now we will also need the plugin for UXO in the previous video I showed you to mount it as UMAO so we're going to get this plugin so once you click it you're going to get this page so now just click download and it's going to download directly I'm just gonna get it ready so that I can put it on my desktop and then transfer it to my PlayStation Vita. This is going to go inside the tie folder. So there we have it. Okay, so we open our backed up folder. Now we go to the tie folder and we just drop the games sd.skprx in there. Now we need to configure the config text so you can open with notepad or notepad plus plus so under kernel in walolo.net it says we need to write it under kernel uro tie dash game sz dot skprx so it's really important to write it out like this I'm just going to copy it and then I'm just going to click enter underneath one of those lines in the kernel. Ok, 
Okay, so then we control V or paste. And then that's all we need to do in here. We file and save the config text. Okay, so now we have everything ready to go. It's really important for now that we modify the tie folder to transfer it to the PlayStation Vita. Now that we have it connected via USB, you guys can see that I have already modified the config text. So copy the type folder to the PlayStation Vita. It's really important because we're going to do another step within the Vita where we're going to transfer the type folder to URO. So remember, important, now that you edited the type folder, copy the type folder to the PlayStation Vita. So you guys can pause the video, but make sure you do that so that we can overwrite that type folder and get all the new updated information. So at this moment, I as well was transferring the information to the micro SD card. I know it's kind of confusing, but just make sure you do that after you edited the tie folder and the config text. And then after that, since we have our micro SD card ready, then we're going to copy all the files that are on our desktop to the micro SD. So sorry for a little confusion there, but I just wanted to highlight that. So now copy all the files that you backed up to the micro SD card. So you guys can see copy and paste. Now within the micro SD card, it would be as your UXO. So you can install those VPKs, you know, you can do whatever you want, but just make sure if you're going to use the SD card as UXO, then uh, that's going to be your main card. Okay, so we're done with that. So now our micro SD card is ready. So right now I am, I still have my Sony memory card inserted. So I'm going to copy the type folder to URO since it's already modified. Remember we copied it earlier, it was really important. So we're going to paste it. It's going to override the type folder we have in there. So now we go in there, you guys can see that the plugin is in there, game SD, SKPRX, and under kernel, then we have the tie games SD dot SKPRX. If you guys want to do this first, I would highly recommend it. It was just in the flow I had in the video, but really important to transfer that modified type folder to the URO. So now I'm going to turn on my PlayStation Vita. I'm going to take out my Sony memory card. Okay, so there it is, my 32 gigabytes. So now I'm going to get ready my SD2 PS Vita or SD2 Vita adapter and input my micro SD card. It's pretty cool. Just got to click when you insert it. Then let's see if it works. You guys can see the little light. Pretty cool. So it's working. You can see it's loading up. Now let's see if anything works. Okay, so video shows loading up. It's like the replica of the Sony memory card because we backed up everything. You guys can see UXO everything's in there now this is our uxo so i would recommend uxo for a micro sd card if you guys get like a 64 gig or 128 if you want to go overboard you know you guys can get the 250 something gigabytes which is crazy so now we don't need that type folder because remember we copied it to the uro so we can delete that so we don't have no path issues so we go to uro just to double check it's really important to keep it in URO, that type folder, with our plugin and our modified config text. I cannot stress that out. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it off to see if it still works. Because I deleted the type folder. Let's see if it works. Look at the pretty lights pretty cool guys this is awesome 
Alright, so let's launch a game to see if it works. Alright, it's loading up. Pretty cool. Let's try another one. Wait, I didn't want it that one. I want the Dragon Ball C to finish it up. I love the Dragon Ball Super. So guys, if it helped, hit like. Let me know if it worked for you. Share with your friends. Subscribe. As always, Gamer Rebirth out.